Hello and welcome to Mitel Training. Today you will learn how to add voicemail to existing users. So from the OpEasy menu, click on Provisioning. So we're going to go ahead and add uh, voicemail to many users. So the easiest way to do that is by using user profiles. So we'll click on user profiles. And for this group, these are the user profiles that are currently defined. This includes two user profiles that have already been created for voicemail, one for email notification and the other one without email notification. But we're going to go ahead and add email notification. So we're going to go ahead and edit this user profile so I can show you how it's configured. So if we scroll down, The key parts of the user profile are the voicemail. In this case, it's selectable with the default of voicemail email notification. Alternatively, it could just simply be email, voicemail with email notification. And then as a part of that, the email address of the server. You will have to enter the domain name and then the password that's used as a default password is 227872. So this is the critical configuration within the user profile that relates to voicemail. So scroll up. Now we're going to go to the users. Again we've got the group that the users are in and we're going to search for a user to change and we're going to search by last name, Wilson. So this is the user that we're going to add voicemail to. So we'll edit it. And we'll scroll down to determine whether this user already has voicemail as a capability, in other words, a service, or does not. The user is going to need the voice messaging user service. As it turns out, the basic service pack already includes the voice messaging service, so we do not need to do anything. However, had the basic service pack not had it, we would have had to add the user, the, the voice messaging user service to the list of service packs for this user. So we scroll up. Now at the voicemail, we can select voicemail with email notification. And then at the voice portal passcode, we can enter a passcode, but we need to make sure that we follow the rules to the right, create a numeric passcode of from four to eight digits. Then, from the service, we select voicemail. So as you can see, it's voicemail with email notification, the voice portal passcode that we had entered, the send notification to the email address of the user. We can optionally not have message waiting. And the group mail server configuration includes the phone number of the user and the domain from the user profile. And the user ID is the phone number of the user and the server password also came from the user profile. So in fact, if we did not, if we wanted to have MWI, in other words not remove it, we wouldn't actually need to go to the voicemail tab at all we could remain at the user tab. And then we can press apply or OK to save the changes. This concludes the tutorial. For additional training, visit Learn Now.